Hmm. Part one, really. Because the first one was the preview. Things I have learnt about this thing. Probably from the late 60s, possibly early 70s. But I'm thinking anywhere between 68 to 70 more than anything else. Oh, we can have a look at the strings. A wound third. Interesting. So these have been on there for quite some time. And there we go. A very small ball end. Anyway. Let's have a shifty. Does the pickup work? Well, I don't know why I find out really, isn't it? I shouldn't really have done that, you should don't do it, but uh Well that leaves a little bit of a let's so a shifty. Seem to. We all plugged in. All right, that definitely needs a uh, bit some squirty in there. But it works kind of. Now, more important, and I have uh, discovered, well, one, this is a Gibson scale. We've got a bit of rock there, so we've got a back bow, which is a uh, more the trust one, luckily, shifts and works. So we've just got that just tightened up slightly. Obviously the um, frets need a good clean and the fretboard needs a little bit of feed with some uh, dim seed oil. That's pointed out in the other area. Here be where the nut goes and here be the nuts. Let's get some Rub this down with some sandpaper or some wet and dry. Similar on here. I'm going to get it the right way around. Slots in there quite nicely. So I don't think we're going to have much trouble with that. But anyway, <coughs> I'd like to know what's happening in here. Have we got any loose connections? So We'll give it a bash to take it out. Well, actually, we won't bash it, but uh, I'm not sure if these are the original um, screws, but they haven't seemed to have been undone at all. These are very tight. So, possibly, these are the originals. Anyways, everyone hunky-dory, doing okay, the best they can, or have you all been naughty? Not too naughty, I hope. Well, if you have been too naughty, don't get caught. I do have quite a good number of chromed screws that are suitable for the pit guard or the scratch plate, whichever you wish to. And this one's a bugger. Ooh, not on the floor, that's one good thing. But you can see by the... Uh, you can see by the amount of wood that's coming out of here, these may be the originals. 
because they are the originals, they weren't put in very straight. You know, talk amongst yourselves. Don't know if any the rest of you have uh, found out. My channel used to get quite a few hits. In in the thousands. Poor misguided persons. But now, but then it went down to the hundreds. And now it seems to be kind of stuck at the dozens. I have no idea why, unless uh, YouTube has done something with their algorithms and uh, botched up innocent channels. I know they've done some very bad things with history channels because, oh, oh, war. No, it's history. Let's have a look. Hmm. I thought there'd be some. Ah, oh, there we go. In here, there'd be the ground wire. I think. What a wire! That's does it come off here? No, there doesn't seem to be any uh, loose ones. Advice with that will be handy. We'll have to wait and get the strings on and. See what happens then. But the ground wire will probably go to the bridge. More than likely, or possibly the tailpiece. Which will take off and give them a good scrub and rub. Don't seem to have any numbers to identify the year. I think I can see anyway. This, this one is. You can see if you can work it out. That comes off nicely. Give it a good scrub round. As you can see, good solid 100% plywood. Of course, if I can't get the um, neck straight, I'll definitely part this off rather than trying to sell it as a whole guitar. Might even make more money that way. I did something similar and I was cutting off, I think I sold the neck by itself for more. Yep, here's a ground wire. Yes. Right, I'll do is where that connects up to. Right. It doesn't want to come out. But hey, we shall see what we shall all see in the great scheme of things. Same type of screws, I know which is which, but I don't think it's going to matter if you do happen to uh, put me the wrong way. But I will keep them separate. This is coming up quite nicely, maybe because the softness of the uh, plywood. I don't think I'm not going to be matting, mattering too much. Mattering? Is that a real word? No idea. And here's where it gets com is it a bit complicated. Ah, yeah, if you can't trap your fingers between the screwdriver and the uh, vibrato. Obviously taking this off gives a chance to uh, polish it up a little bit more easy than in place. You can get to the bits that other bits can't get to. Yeah, right, more tone dust. Hmm, I want to see what um, schematics. And there's a big word, isn't it? Schematics. That's a real one as well, unlike the one I just pronounced earlier. Right, 
Here's we go. When we come back, all's been nicely polished up. Hopefully, uh, this soldered in place. If again, you can see where it may have been. It all looks complete. It doesn't seem to be anything missing as such. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, that's all soldered on. Right. Give that a squirt and give that a squirt as well. But for now, that be it. What? 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 Mink lager?